Fine. Have you ever been in a situation where you are about to suture something and you were wondering whether to use a cutting, a reverse cutting or a round bordered suture needle? Or you were wondering what are those symbols on the suture material? A circle, triangle with an apex upwards, downwards? Then this video is for you. I'm Dr. Ramajit and welcome to The Scalpers, where you can learn about concepts in surgery, clinics, practice essentials and operative surgery. If you're looking for a specific section, feel free to use the timestamps given below in the description to navigate through the video. So first, we'll start by discussing the parts of the suture needle. So it has three parts, the tip, body and the tail end. It has two surfaces. A concave surface and a convex surface. Apart this, from this, you are supposed to know one more thing, which is the sweet spot of the suture needle. Basically, it is the junction of two third and one third of the suture needle. Why is it called as a sweet spot? Because this is a place where you will use a needle holder to hold the suture needle. And as you can see here, always use the tip of your needle holder to hold the needle. Coming to the classification, the needle can be classified based on the tip, body and air. So based on the tip, it can be classified into sharp tip and blunt tip. Based on the body, it can be classified into round body, cutting and reverse cutting. Based on the end, it can be classified into closed eye, French eye uh, or a swaged end. As you can see, this is the sharp tip needle and this is the blunt tip needle. Most of the cases you will be using a suture needle which has a sharp tip. But there are scenarios where you will be preferring a blunt tip needle. For example, by closing a laparotomy wound, when you are taking bites through the linear alba or a rectus sheath, you prefer taking bites using a blunt tip suture needle because the chance of getting the bubble beneath the linear alba injured using a blunt tip suture needle is very less than compared to a sharp tip needle. Coming to the classification based on body, first one is round body. So why is it called as a round body suture needle? Basically, it means that when you make a cross section at the level of body, it will look something like this. It looks like a circle. That is why it's called as a round body suture needle. In case of a cutting needle, you can see that there is an additional cutting surface which is seen in the concave surface of the needle and the convex surface of the needle is flat. So when you take a cross section, you can see something like this. There is a triangle with the apex pointing the concave surface or the apex pointing upwards. In contrary, when there is a reverse cutting needle, you can see that there is a sharp cutting edge which is in the convex surface of the needle and the concave surface of the needle is flat. So when you take a cross section, You'll see something like this. A there is a triangular shaped cross section with the apex pointing downwards. So this is the reason why you can see that there is a circle in round bodied suture needle. There is a triangle with apex pointing upwards in case of a cutting needle and a triangle with the apex pointing downwards in case of a reverse cutting suture needle. And Coming to the difference between cutting and reverse cutting suture needle. So this is how a bite mark of a cutting needle looks like with the apex pointing towards the wound edge. So what is the problem with that? So whenever you take a thin bite, there is a chance that the suture needle or the suture material can cut through the tissue because the cutting edge is towards the edge of the wound. Whereas in case of a reverse cutting needle, this does not occur because the sharp edge is away from the wound edge and there is a very less likely chance that the suture needle or the material will cut through the tissue. So where do you use this cutting and reverse cutting or round body suture needle? Round body suture needles are preferred in places where you require less tissue injury. For example, anastomosing a bowel or a vessel or suturing a muscle or even subcutaneous tissue. Whereas cutting or reverse cutting needles are preferred in areas where you are about to pierce through a tough structure, for example, skin or a tough fascia. 
coming to the classification based on the n so we have closed eye french eye and a swage eye so as you can see the difference the closed eye and french eye there is a free thread which is passed through the eye and then the suture needle is driven whereas in case of a swage gen the suture material is inserted into the needle and it is swaged and there are some scenarios where there are two suture material which is inserted into the same needle for example in case of a loop pds so why is this important as you can see the suture needle with eye and french eye are called as traumatic and the one with the swage gen is called atraumatic because you can see that a traumatic suture needle has only one thread to pass through the wound and the traumatic needle has two threads to pass through the wound and it will cause additional tissue damage and this is the classification based on the curvature of the needle it can be a one fourth of a circle three eighth of a circle half the circle five eighth of the circle the needle can be j-shaped and or it can be straight this j-shaped needles are preferred where you are about to take deep bites for example closure of a deep port site that's it for today and thanks for watching if you want me to make videos on specific topics let me know it in the comment section and if you like this video feel free to share with your friends and subscribe to my channel by just clicking over here thank you